Is this thing on? Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Hi, everyone. My name is Sojourner Truth, and I'm here to talk to you about how I played my part in leading up to the American Civil War. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my background. I was born in rural New York in 1797. I was born with the name Isabella Bonfrey, after my father's owner. I was taken away from my family when I was nine years old. I was sold quite a few times. Eventually, I ended up with my owners named John and Sally Dermont. John and Sally Dermont abused me both physically and sexually. Then, one year I was inspired by God and I escaped with my husband and my youngest child. I walked to my freedom that year, 1826. In 1827, New York law freed all slaves. I went to work for Eisen Van Wagenen. While I was there, I learned that the Dermots had sold one of my sons. But since the New York law had previously emancipated all slaves, I sued the Dermots in court, and I won, and I won my son's freedom. In 1843, I became a traveling preacher. That's when I took on the name Sojourner Truth. This is about the time period when I began to speak for change in America. The biggest impact I had on the time period and the events leading to the Civil War is that I advocated for change. I wanted equality, not only for blacks, but also for women. I really joined the abolition movement in the late 1840s. I spoke at conventions for abolition. My most famous speech took place at a women's rights convention in Ohio in 1851. Ain't I a woman? I still remember that speech. Here's a little bit so you can get the message. Then that little man in black there, he say, women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. And oh lordy, let me tell you, that crowd roared. That speech moved people to believe in women's rights. Unfortunately, the women's rights movement got swept up in the abolitionist movement. Although, I'm glad people noticed. I wish they had noticed both. So, to recap, the biggest thing that I helped to inspire was change. It was time for reform, and something big needed to happen. I was hoping it would come soon, and I was hoping I'd help bring about the change. And I did. Thank you for watching my video diary. I hope you were inspired to make some change. Because look, there I am with the President of these United States, Abraham Lincoln. If you do good and make change happen, you can get to meet the president too, just like me. So do good. It always helps.